Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's What You Want Wednesday. Today's recipe request comes in from the Facebook user Gary Stedman and he's asked me to make some pork belly. So let's get started. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So the first thing that we're going to do on our slow marinated pork belly is make our marinade. Now just into the pestle here, I'm going to be grating in some fresh garlic. And I'm also going to be just grating some ginger, some fresh ginger as well. Now into the pestle as well, I'm going to be adding in some red chilies. And these red chilies I've just de-seeded and sliced up finely. I'm also going to add some star anise, and star anise is beautiful. It's really got this licorice type flavour to it, and all I've done is just crushed it up. I'm also going to be adding in some Chinese five spice, and the five spice has just got this beautiful fennel and a seed flavour. And I'm going to season well with some salt and also some pepper as well. Now if you don't have one of these, don't worry, what you can do is just put this ingredients into a Ziploc bag and just lightly roll it with a rolling pin just until those juices from the chili start to ooze out and you mix all those ingredients well. But if you've got one of these, then obviously use it. Now of course you're going to need some pork belly. Now this pork belly I got from my butcher. I told him to take off the bone, which, is, which he has done. And I've also got him just to score the skin, just like that. Now I'm going to take out our marinade and I'm just going to rub and just smooth that over the pork belly. So what I want you to do now is pop the pork belly into the fridge for two, at least two hours. If you want to marinate this overnight, of course the flavours are going to be much more intense because it's been sitting in the pork for that period of time. So the longer you leave it in, the better result you have. But if you want to make it straight away, then the minimum is two hours straight in the fridge. Now our pork's been marinating for a few hours now and I'm going to be placing it into a cast iron pot. And I've got our pork here and I'm just going to place our pork just into the pot to snuggle it in. And I've got some lemongrass here and I'm going to be placing one there, one there and that will just infuse its flavour once we cook this. Now I'm going to turn this onto a medium to high heat and I want to bring the water almost to a boil in the pot. So once we've done that I'm going to be placing the lid onto our pot and this is now going to go into a preheated oven at 160 degrees C and we're going to pop it in there for two hours. So I've just pulled our pork out of the oven and wow, 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 wow. That looks amazing. So I've just taken our pork belly out of the pot and I've just placed it on a chopping board. And we're gonna be searing off this skin shortly, but what I want you to do now is just cut the pork into the portions that you want to serve. Now, whatever you do, do not get rid of the broth that's left over in the pot. We're gonna use that for a beautiful, beautiful broth that we're gonna serve with the pork. The only thing that I'm gonna to add to it is some soy sauce. Just give that a good mix around. And now what I wanna do, using a strainer, I'm going to be straining this liquid so we're not ending up with the chunky bits. I want it nice and clean. Now with our pork here, what I'm gonna do is just season them well with some salt on the top. So we're going to finish off our pork and we're going to make our pork crackling just into a large pan. I'm going to be adding in some grapeseed oil and I'm going to be placing the pork in the pan skin side down and that's how we're going to get that nice crackling 
on the top and it will spit, these little piggies will spit back at you. So that's what we're after with our crackling, just like that. Now you can serve this up with any vegetables that you want, but I think a classic one is some steamed cabbage and that's what I've got here. And I'm just gonna be putting that on the plate. And steamed cabbage, it's just getting a cabbage, shredding it up, putting it in a steamer, or you can boil it as well. And of course that beautiful pork just on the top. And not forgetting that beautiful broth that we had before. I'm just gonna put that over the top, just like that. Okay, so let's give this pork belly a taste. I can't wait to get into this. Let's go. That is so beautiful. That broth has got so many layers of flavors in it. And it just keeps, it's just one big party in your mouth. And that pork belly is so succulent and tender. That is a winner. You've got to give this one a go. As always, the ingredients for this one are right below the screen here. You guys take care and I'll see you this Friday for Fast Food Friday. So until then, you take care.